The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Tehran, Iran, weighing in at 262 pounds, Colonel Mustafa. Colonel Mustafa with a very ominous look to him as he gears up for action here tonight. Yeah, you know why? He's here to hurt somebody. That's all he wants to do, inflict pain. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other. And approaching the ring from Baghdad, Iraq, weighing in at 255 pounds, General Adnan. General Adnan, clearly not the most popular person in this arena, King. You know what? I'm not even sure he'd get a warm welcome back in Iraq. Nobody likes this guy. Two of WWE's absolute best preparing to square off here. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Yeah, and you could cut the tension with a knife. I mean, no one's giving an inch. Oh, this is a standoff. And so what's the story here for General Adnan? What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. Adnan sneaks out of the way of that one. Man, I didn't know Adnan could move that fast. And the strike connects. Here we go with Colonel Mustafa. As if hanging around with General Adnan wasn't disgusting enough, Sergeant Slaughter added Colonel Mustafa to his ranks in 1991. Collectively, the three Iraqi sympathizers were appropriately dubbed the Triangle of Terror. Stop avoids trouble. Well, that's because he's so fundamentally sound, Cole. Not today. Too fast. Oh, out of nowhere. An impressive backbreaker there. General Adnan gets out of that one. Nice move. As a member of the Triangle of Terror you brought up, Colonel Mustafa may have been at SummerSlam 1991 when he teamed with General Adnan and Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, and after suffering defeat, Mustafa and Adnan actually turned their back on Slaughter. Goes to show how close they really were, or weren't, as the case may be. Impending doom being thrust upon Colonel Mustafa. The camel clutch, the end is near. You're right, nobody survives a camel clutch. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it.
Matchups like this have been a staple of main event since the program's debut back in 2012. When preparing for a match with General Adnan, it's a good idea to expect anything and everything. This guy doesn't care what the rule book says. He's going to do whatever he wants. Thinking to avoid that. Looking good so far, not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. It's almost as if rules don't apply to General Adnan. I've never seen a superstar go to an eye rake oh. more times than this guy. Right. And when it's not an eye rake, it's usually a back rake or a hair pull. Or a sneak attack. Don't forget that. If I had a nickel for every time General Adnan started a match with a sneak attack, I'd be a very wealthy man. Cole. General Adnan is on the attack. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Nicely executed. This may settle the score right here. That's it. He's out. Much more of that. And he's not going to last long. The shoulders are down. Two. And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saved him. This match goes on. And this General Adnan's as tough as nails. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. Too fast. General Adnan doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, what an impact from that sidewalk slam. There's some serious power right there. Wow, he's still down after that. Look at Colonel Mustafa. It's coming. You know, I haven't seen too many General Adnan matches that haven't. It. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. Makes the cover. One, two. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Well, say what you will about the General Adnan, but this guy knows what it takes to win. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's making a statement here with this attack. Great reversal. Not today. Too fast. refuses to stay down. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. grasp you go down oh that slam was vicious all these power moves tonight are making bigger and bigger impacts looking for all the glory here Two. Okay, my research tells me that. Win. man he's got to feel great Was it? You want to talk? We got to cook at this. 
Here's your winner, Colonel Mustafa. A very impressive victory for Colonel Mustafa. That's a big win right there. Anytime you pin another WWE competitor shoulder to the mat for the three count.